birthday. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, that uh, is the most pleasant uh, message and greeting I've heard today. Uh, that means I can be disqualified from this chamber, Mr. President, if I were to be 25th. But balik tarin po nyo, 52. Plus 3, 55. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Rigan. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, in my three terms as Senator, I've stood in this chamber numerous times to speak about environmental protection, climate change adaptation and mitigation, disaster resilience, with the hope of influencing my colleagues and other leaders of the nation to include these issues in the priorities of government. And I say this, it is so timely because Sendai, which happened 10 years ago in Yogo, and Sendai is happening in two months' time in Sendai, Japan. And in less than four weeks' time, Mr. President, the climate visit of the first ever French head of state will happen in the Philippines with the Francois uh, Hollande visit in the Philippines, which I believe uh, will be a climate visit, uh, state visit. I also say this as we enter a year where the Conference of Parties 21 will happen in Paris, France. And I also say this as our minority leader, Senator Soto, and a colleague, Senator Pia Cayetano, have urged me to operationalize in simple, doable terms the policies that we've enacted in the past three terms. And uh, we've actually produced many relevant laws, the Solid Waste Management Law of 2001, and in fact, this month, we're celebrating the enactment of that law, RA 9003. We have the Clean Air Act, which was principally sponsored, I believe, by Senator Greg Onasan in 1999. We have 2003, the Clean Water Act. We have the Renewable Energy Act, where at least one third of this chamber are co-authors of a 2008 law. We have the NDREAMC law, or the Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Law, which created the NDREAMC Council, which is the lead agency that will spearhead the Sendai talks uh, representing the Philippines. We have a Toxic Substances and Hazardous and Nuclear Waste Control Act, which not many people know about. We even have the law creating the People's Survival Fund, which in the Philippine version is like the Green Climate Fund. Why am I saying all this? Dahil po, sinabi po ni Tito Soto na Loren, sabihin mo naman sa ating plenary session ang simpleng pamamaraan na maiintindihan ng lahat ang ibig sabihin ng mga batas na ito. Kaya uh, ako po ay tumatayo ngayon sa aking 55th birthday sa isang privileged speech na simpleng maintindihan at magagawa. The number of our environmental and climate change laws is no guarantee for effective action. In fact, we want our laws to be fruitful to be faithfully implemented. We need to imbibe the principles behind them and translate this into doable action in our daily life. So on my birthday today, I wish to share how each individual present here today, cameraman or senator, Senate president or Senate staff, from Ipugao or from Ilocos Norte or Ilocos Sur or the students watching us today, what do I mean? I've actually incorporated these advocacies in my own home, in my daily routine, in my daily life. I hope this will encourage all of you listening today and to see how we can adopt them in their own lifestyle. First, we have to be mindful of what we eat. Ano pong ibig sabihin ito? Eat more local, plant-based food. We should eat those which are grown in the respective gardens. It has been estimated that 18% of all greenhouse gas emissions are associated with meat consumption and food that comes from distant places that utilize more energy for transportation and preservation, therefore resulting to greater carbon emission. Mr. President, I plant vegetables in my garden. In fact, Senator Pia was just asking, saan yung usually binibigay mo sa akin? At bukas, ay bibigyan ko po siya ng aking mga harvest na organically grown lechugas, arugula, at wansoy. At paminsan-minsan ay binibigay ko sa iba't ibang mga kasamahan natin dito. I actually plant 
all the vegetables that I eat. Yung mga kinakain ko po sa aking nilaga o sa aking sinigang o sa aking fresh salad. So that nakakatipid na at sigurado po ako na organic at wala pong pesticide o chemical ang aking kinakain. Sa lahat po ng mga bakanting lupa, sa lahat po ng ating mga lugar na tinitirahan at maski wala pong garden ay maari man po sa mga koplitro ay maari pong putulin niyan at lalagyan po ng lupa at lalagay ng pataba at pwede lagay ang kangkong, pwede ilagay ang malunggay at kung ano-ano pang mga gulay na pwede po natin kainin. Alam po ito ni Senator Bongbong ay pinakbek ay napakasarap at dinimding sa Ilocos Region kung saan lang tayo galing kila Mayor Eva at kay Senator Bongbong ay yung pinakbet garden na tinatawag ay pwede natin itanim dito po sa Senado o sa ating mga bahay-bahay at mas kinasabihin natin urban settler or informal settler maari po yung mga lata at plastic na atin tinatapon ay pwede pong gawin mga paso para po lagyan ng counting lupa ito po ay nakita ko sa Philippine Normal University nung isang linggo nung si Sonia Mendoza ng Mother Earth Foundation ay nagtanghal po ng kanilang inibersaryo This way, we do not only provide food on the table, but also address the needs of growing numbers of malnourished children, which is the advocacy of Senator Grace Poe. Second, we must conserve energy. Traditional energy conservation measures remain relevant. Use low wattage appliances. Pagbibili po tayo ng ating mga appliances, tignan po natin, basahin natin, mababang wattage ba ito? Isa pa ito. Ako po, Maski alas 12 ng gabi, ako'y umuuwi at wala po akong kasambahay na natutulog sa bahay, stay out po ang aking kasambahay. Umiikot po ako ng bahay ko para tignan kung ang aking mga appliance, kung electric fan, ang television ay nakasaksak dahil kumukonsume pa rin yon ng kuryente pag ito'y nakasaksak. Tinatanggal ko lahat na nakasaksak, mas safe na, mas matipid pa. Turn off and unplug electronics when not in use. Turn off lights when leaving a room. Meron pong isang socialite na dumaan po sa aking tahanan at sinabi sa akin sa isang social or party na nakita ko, Iha, sa inyo ba palagi bang brown out? Kasi dumadaan ako sa bahay nyo, palaging mukhang walang ilaw. Sabi ko, hindi po, nagtitipid lang po sa kuryente. Sa aking opisina rin po, makikita nyo, pag hindi kailangan ng ilaw, ay hindi po nakabukas ang ilaw. Sa aking bahay po, Parang madilim palagi, pero bubuksan ko lang pagdadaan ako sa koridor. At paglabas ko sa koridor at hindi na kailangan, sinasaro ko po. Bakit? Eh, sayang eh. In fact, pag nandun ako sa aming kusina, nakabukas ang radyo, nakabukas ang telebisyon, nakabukas ang ilaw. Sinasabi ko sa aming cook, bakit naman kailangan mabukas ang ilaw? Eh, tanghaling tapat. Sinasara ko. Ako ba istrikto? Hindi po. Ito lang po ang dapat dahil isipin nyo, 100 million Filipinos. Pag hindi sobrang lakas ng aircon, pag hindi nakabukas ang ilaw, pag hindi naman nakabukas ang aircon, electric fan at television, pag hindi ginagamit, imagine we can avert a power crisis and I hope the Department of Energy can compute the energy consumption and the energy saved when we do and conserve energy. It was Senator Tito Soto who asked me, ipaliwanag mo nga sa amin ang pagtitipid na ito at ipacompute natin sa DOE kung ilang kilo, if not megawatts, ang matitipid. At hindi kailangan ng emergency power siguro o baka hindi pa kailangan magtayo ng mga makasamang mga coal plant para sa karagdagang enerhiya. When leaving a room, open your curtains if you have for natural lighting. At pag a plancha po, hindi naman kailangan ng araw-araw pag plancha, kailangan minsan lang sa isang linggo o minsan sa kinsenas o minsan sa isang buwan para makatipid din. Na tumitingi si Sen nangingiti si Senator Nancy Binay para daw akong housewife. Oo, because all of us at the end of the day are homemakers. All of us at the end of the day, whether we manage our offices or our homes, imagine of every man and woman or any person who owns a home no matter how small would operationalize all these simple concepts. Let's do the ironing at one time to avoid frequent also opening of the refrigerator and to defrost it once a week and other similar practice. Hanggang bukas ng bukas ng refrigerator, yan po ay nakakakonsumo ng mas malakas pang enerhiya. One effective way to reduce consumption of energy is through energy-efficient lighting. 
Changing to LED light bulbs can save at least 40% energy. LEDs also have a longer lifetime and easier and cheaper to maintain. If the government and the private sector would implement energy savings and energy conservation measures, we can easily save 20 to 30 percent of energy consumption. Next, we must conserve water. Bakit naman ang Pilipinas? We are archipelago. We have water all around us. Napakarami natin mga inland water gaya na mga rivers and lakes. But why are we always in need of water? In our homes, we should adopt conservation practices like gathering and storing rainwater for daily chores. Turn off our faucets, leaking pipes, and running toilets should be repaired immediately. In the community, water recycling facilities and rain collection systems can be built. Existing local water distribution systems must be properly maintained and watershed areas must be protected and rehabilitated. Maniwala po kayo o hindi, ako po ay kumukulekta ng tubig ulan. Ang aking alunod po ay naka, nagpupunta po sa isang imbaka ng tubig at yung imbakang tubig yon ang nagtutubig po ng halaman at nakakabit po sa flash ng aking uh, bahay at yun po ay ginagamit. At pag hindi po nakabukas ang nawasa, ang ating tubig po, mas mababa po ang ating bill. Again, it's so simple, but would you believe that is based on a 1989 law called the Rainwater Collection Act. Imagine if all government buildings, if all deaf-ed schools have rainwater catchments, then we will be able to save water. Come March, April, and May, all those informal settlers, the site you see every day in Metro Manila lining up for potable water need not happen if we saved on water. We should always consider energy and cost-efficient transport modes like walking, biking, taking public transport, and carpooling whenever possible. I support the Bayanihan Sadaan movement, which uh, Your Honor, the Senate President, has done successfully in Iloilo, which promotes a paradigm shift from the motor vehicle-based transport system to a multimodal system where people are not dependent on their own motorized vehicles every time they go out. They can choose different modes of transport depending on their needs. Walking or biking, John Experto si Senator Pia, safe, reliable, inexpensive, and convenient public transport for long distance trips. Next, make our homes as green as possible. Alam naman natin, hindi naman ibig sabihin, ikulayan ng green. Ang ibig sabihin po sa green ay sustainable. What do you mean? Pag tayo po ay magtatayo ng bahay kung hindi pa nakapapagtayo, in designing or refurbishing our homes, we need not always buy new. Hindi naman kailangan lahat makintab, bago, at mahal. We can reuse and have adaptive reuse. We can build chairs, tables, cabinets, and other fixtures using recycled wood. Ako po, yung mga paleta po o palutsina na tira-tira po ng aking anak sa kanyang negosyong solar ay ginawa ko po at ginawa pong dingding ng bahay. Yung mga ginawa po at ininom ng mga ifugao na dyan po si Dr. Rahabawel na ininom po nilang mga gin habang nagtatayo po ng ifugao house ay ginawa ko pong ilaw at chandelier. At po, yung mga lumang kahoy na nabotsak po sa Typhoon Glenda ay pinagkukulekta ko po. Alam ni Mayor Alonte po yan ang binyan. Ako po ay nagsuggest na pick upin ko na lang po yung mga nahulog na kahoy na nakala sa binyan. At yun po ay ginawa ko mga table at silya at ako lang at isang staff ang gumawa po nun. A green design would maximize the use also of natural light and wind flow. Using passive solar heating provide for rainwater catchment system and the use of recycled materials. We should also promote the Bahay Kubo concept that employs indigenous building materials surrounded by vegetables and fruit trees. The community layout must balance green spaces with population density. We must practice ecological solid waste management, starting with segregation source. Yan po sa ating letrato, at ako po yung nagagalak na dito sa Senado ay ginagawa natin yan. In fact, like environment audit ang Mother Earth Foundation sa mga tanggapan ng Senador. Marami naman sa ating tanggapan ay nakapasa sa kanilang environment audit. Do you know that we used to use five trucks to throw our garbage in the Senate? 
But now, in my understanding, only one truck is used because all the rest are recycled. In short, the Senate is able to implement RA 9003. What does it mean? Every household should have one trash can for biodegradable and food waste. Ito po mga food waste, yung balat ng sibuyas o balat ng saging at kung ano pang may nakikira, ay maaaring ibalun sa lupa at ito po ay magiging parte ng compost pit for organic fertilizer. Dati po, ako ibuibili ng organic fertilizer. Gaya po ni Senator Cynthia Villar na ginagawa sa Las Piñas, ako na rin po ay gumagawa po ng sarili kong organic fertilizer na ginagamit ko po sa aking mga gulay na, na nakatanim sa aking garden o paso at sa aking mga halaman. We should have another trash can for recyclables or residual waste. And one trash can for special or hazardous waste busted lamps, radio, and cell phone batteries, and for paper that can be recycled, you put paper flat in a box or in a paper bag. Sa mga nakakatanggap po ng mga regalo sa akin, huwag po suma ang inyong loob kung ang wine bottle na binibigay ko sa inyo ay nakabalot po sa recycled newspaper. Ginagawa ko po yun, senador man o hindi senador, ang aking binibigyan ng regalo. Second, Bring containers when going to market or the grocery to avoid using plastic bags. Bawal na po ang plastic bags sa aking bahay. Lahat po ng aking uh, uh, grocery items at sa palengke ay recycled na po. Binabaon ko na po ang aking bag sa aking palengke at sa aking grocery pag ako ay namimili. Reusable containers can be used in purchasing fish, meat and other poultry products while Yung traditional bayong and reusable cloth bags can be used for other items. The collection of all segregated waste should be done by the barangay. All waste should go to the MRF, the Materials Recovery Facility for Proper Waste Management. Biodegradable waste goes to composting, as I said, if we have a compost pit at home, animal feeds, or biogas, while recyclables go to the junk shops and in fact, you can even sell it. At sabi ko nga sa aking mga staff, yung mga binibenta sa mga junk shop ay pambili na lang yun ng soft drinks or kung gusto nyo pang merienda ninyo. Only residual waste should be collected by the city or municipal truck. Special or hazardous waste will go to the city or municipal MRF for proper treatment or disposal in coordination with the Environment Management Bureau. We should strive for a zero waste economy where the output of each resource is converted into input for another use. We can pre-cycle by avoiding buying unnecessary goods, by repairing electronics and appliances, and patronizing recycled products. We can also develop livelihood programs using recycled waste materials. These are just some ways, Mr. President, by which we can make environmental protection and climate change mitigation part of our daily living. These practices do not demand much from us. In fact, many of us, or many of these, can immediately be practiced as soon as today. It only requires both individual and collective action. In all other aspects, it has every bit of potential to become second nature to us. We just have to take the first crucial step of actually taking into action. There are many more, Mr. President, but it would take so much time. I would be more than willing to lecture the offices of the Senate so that we can really be a zero-waste institution. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Sandra Lagarde.